In the instructions from his 1918 suite, The Planets, Gustav Holtz states that the female chorus is to be placed in an adjoining room. What effect does this permit and how is it achieved? I'll give you that again. In the instructions for the 1918 suite, The Planets, Gustav Holtz states that the female chorus is to be placed in an adjoining room. What effect does this allow you to create and how do you do it? I fully assumed that this was going to be something like sexist, like we don't want to be around girls when they're on their periods, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So I'm assuming it's not that, but I did just want to rule that out up front. That's <laughs> normal. Of course. Like, obviously. <laughs> right. Oh, gosh. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. For the second show with this crowd, I've just heard the sound of a bullet whiz past my ear. <laughs> just, I'm glad, glad you guys made those jokes. OK, so I'm going to catch that bullet for you, Tom, and say early doors. <laughs> There is no significance in the choir members being female. It's not because oh. they're women. It's not because they're on their period or whatever you just said, Jordan. <laughs> it's, it, it's not significant that they're female. But if you do put all the choir members in a room for enough rehearsals, they do sync up. No, sorry. Um... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is a myth, apparently. <laughs> That's true. That's true, yeah. Specifically among choir members, everybody else. And I yeah. knew when I said that someone was going to patent me on it. So thank you, Jordan. Yep. That, was, that was the correct decision. <laughs> I mean, it's a myth that I also continue to fully believe. <laughs> there we go. Jordan said it, so that's fine. Um, so singing in a room, has it got something to do with resonance or other such sound-related words? Like if you put, if you put them in the room, you can, you can make it sound different. That was I, in the question. I will grant <laughs> you that it does have something to do with sound-related words. <laughs> yes. With sound-related words. <laughs> mm. That really narrows it down, yeah. Yeah, it does, doesn't mm. it? Well, it's less than all the words. <laughs> so when you when you have sound traveling through objects like walls, um, different frequencies travel uh, better than others. So I imagine if you hear swap, I say I imagine when you hear something through a wall, it obviously sounds different, not just quieter, but like almost different in quality than when you hear it without the wall there. So is that is that what's happening? They wanted to cut some of the some of the frequencies to have a different sort of more ethereal sound by by making it sound like it's coming through a wall. Well, you'll get more bass, won't you? You'll get the kind mm. of the low tones through, but the yeah. high tones are more likely to get reflected. I'm just going to put this out here, guys. You are all way too smart for this question. <laughs> like, this is much stupider than you're, you're giving it credit for. <laughs> okay, follow-up question. Follow-up question. Is there a door into the room thank you jordan there's a door <laughs> yes okay oh so they open the door and close the door they just slam the door shut to mute you <laughs> <laughs> or or something like stereo separation where you've got mm. tom i'm gonna interrupt <laughs> you again and say you're too smart for this question <laughs> please be more stupid do they slam the door shut to mute them they didn't slam uh. the door shut no but they do close the door do they close the door shut to fade them out? They close yeah. the door shut okay. to fade them out. <laughs> wow. So, yes, thank you, John. They couldn't just have them, like, decrescendo. Like, you can just sing quieter. Like, you can just... <laughs> okay, so I've got... I actually have... There is something else on this, Jordan, which is even funnier than the than the door. So, the answer is yes. In the Planet Suite, the piece Neptune the Mystic ends with the female choir repeating a loop of unresolved chords, which gives a sort of mystical uh, feeling. The composer's notes say, the chorus is to be placed in an adjoining room, the door of which is to be left open until the last bar of the piece, when it is to be slowly and silently closed. The chorus, the door, and anyone else must be screened from the audience. If an adjoining door is not available, Holst suggests that the choir slowly turn away from the audience or stuck a, <laughs> stuff a handkerchief in their mouths. <laughs> yeah, but he's really committing My to this. Lord. Committing <laughs> to just not having them sing quieter. They're in a different room. <laughs> the door is slowly closed to fade them out. And everybody involved in the last 10 minutes of my life is way too smart. <laughs> <laughs> maybe it's like film, you know, maybe maybe it doesn't sound like they're fading out if they actually fade out. You need a door <laughs> to make it sound like, you know, how you use a horse um, when you want a cow in a film. That's just on The Simpsons. Never mind. <laughs> um, but like, but like they don't use actual spit. 
to 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 be spit in a film, they'll use something else. You know, maybe it's like that. Strong choice to go with spit there, Corey. I don't know why. <laughs> what? I was... Someone, someone interrupt him. <laughs> Please, not me. 